What's the YouTube today? We're going to take a look at lead code problem number 104, maximum depth of binary tree. Mark this easy. Let's get into it. The problem statement says, given the root of a binary tree, return its maximum depth. A binary tree's maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. So in our case, for example one, our root node would be 3 and our furthest leaf node would be 15 or 7. So in this case, maximum depth would be 3. Now we could either solve this recursively or iteratively. I'm going to show you the recursive way because it's shorter, faster to come up with, more elegant and probably also easier to understand. So let's get into it. Maybe we should go through the elements of our predefined tree node class. We have val, which would be the value of the node we're looking at right now. We have left and right as the left subtree and right subtree. So for, uh, let's, just, let's just print our input tree node. For root, we would have a value of three and then value of left would be the subtree, which again has left and right and a right subtree which has 15, 7, and then these have left and right, which are empty, and these are decoded using none here. So we can check for that in our base step, checking for none. So if root is none, we're just going to return zero. So if we get an, a tree that is empty, just like example three, we're going to return zero. So in order to set up our recursive solution, we want to establish a base case which we can just resolve straight away, and then a recursive step, which helps us get towards that base case. And that's where we call the function itself from within our function. So we're gonna call max depth again for our left and right subtree, then compare which one is turning out to be of higher depth, and then just tie that all together to get our maximum depth. So for our base case, we want to look at what happens when we get an empty tree or looking at an empty node. So if we're looking at example three, if we get an input of an empty tree, we're just gonna return zero. And that's what our base case should be because that's what, ha what happens when we reach the bottom of the tree. So if root is none, return zero. So that happens for example three, base case already implemented. Then our recursive step should do something in case the root is not empty to get towards that case of having an empty root. So if that's not the case, we want to look at the left and right subtree. So for example, 3 has a left subtree of just 9 and a right subtree of 20 that has a left child of 15 and a right child of 7. Yes, and we want to compare the length of the left one to the right one and the right one seems to be longer and that's what we're gonna choose for maximum depth. So we're gonna return the maximum and compare the left and right subtree. So we're gonna call max depth here again for the left side of our tree. And then do the same for the right side of our tree. Yes. Then we're also adding one because we just found out that our node is not empty and we're going to move down one step further towards the bottom of the tree. So in our case, in example one, three would be the root it's not empty, we're going to compare left and right one and add one because we already went through the first hierarchy or first stage, first level of the tree as a three. So maybe I should guide you through a written solution that I found very helpful and I want to give a shout out, shout out to Amir Chukia, Amin Chukia. Because he has a great explanation on the recursive implementation. So he's given an example tree that has root 10, left child 5, right child 19, and the 19 has a left child of 17 again. And this is actually how it's evaluating step by step 
So we're gonna look at max depth of 10. 10 is not empty, so we're gonna look at the left and right uh, subchart and add one for 10. For, so for the left, child five, that's not empty either. So we're gonna look at the childs of five and these are actually empty. So what happens is these max depth of none evaluate to zero. So max of zero and zero is zero. Then we add one because we've already seen that five is not empty. And then we're gonna do the same for the right side. So in case of 19, we're gonna look at 17 and at an empty child, 17, we can go down once again and look at the childs of 17. These are empty, so we're adding one twice. Adding one twice means the right subtree starting with 19 has a depth of two, while the left subtree has a depth of one. And that is evaluated down here. I'm skipping a few steps. You could, you can check it out. Well, I'm gonna leave a link down below. So for pretty much the final step, we're gonna look at whether the left or right subtree has a larger depth. And in this case, two, the right subtree has a larger depth. So we're gonna evaluate that maximum to two and, that end, and then add one for the root being 10. So that gives us three for the maximum depth. And that's pretty much the entire algorithm. As I said, there's an iterative solution as well, which is much longer and uh, much harder to explain, in my opinion. And that's pretty much it for that question. If I hit submit, that's gonna evaluate to be accepted. So runtime complexity of this is off and we could probably make this even shorter, but I think this way it's easy to understand and still not too, too large of amount of code. Anyways, that's been pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below and check out the other videos on this channel. I'm also going through database problems on lead code using SQL and we'll be going through more algorithmic questions using Python here as well. See you next time.